All right, on first look, you'd say this was a 706, but it's not. It's an Indian Telephone Industries phone, which was probably modelled on the the, uh, the 706. It's certainly the only resemblance to it is the shape of the actual phone, etc. Uh, the handset is almost the same. Not quite, but almost. It was obviously modelled on on that. But the inside is totally different. Uh, we will have a little look inside. This is their um, uh, their motif, ITI, Indian Telephone Industries. And this company was started up by the Automatic Electric Company of Liverpool. The dial that you now see is a uh, Japanese. Originally they would have had the dial the same as the uh, the Western Electric dial but this is this is actually Japanese. Let's have a look inside. The cover's pre-taken off and lo and behold what do we have inside? As I've always said always have a little nose inside because you never know what you're going to find. In this case I can focus on the blooming thing. We have a nice little diagram. There's the diagram. I don't know whether I put this phone up on a flicker. I may have done or I might have put up one that, that's like it. But there's the circuit diagram. I'll leave it on there long enough so if anyone uh, wants to add a copy it or do something they can. And also another uh, wiring circuit on the side. So we're spilt. We've got two circuits. The one at the side looks like it's the way the actual components are wired up on the phone itself. Which I've never come across before but there we are. Yeah, if you th if you look at the terminal strip at the front, turn it to the, the other way round, and that would definitely be right. Anyhow, let's have a little look at the innards. We can remove the doll, which is quite easy to move. As you can see, rather plasticky. Nothing like the uh, the Western dial or the Western electric, which um, was originally used in these phones. This is more uh, reminiscent of the American type of dial. I'm going to have difficulty trying to operate it, holding the the um, camera, and also trying to do the dial. I'll try. I'm not going to say I'm not going to have much luck. No luck at all. Anyway, I can point out what the salient bits are. This part that I'm pointing to is the other uh, pulsing springs. They're the ones that make the other uh, make and break. And the set that you can see there are the dial off normal springs. So you've got your pulsing springs your off normal springs and the off normal springs operate as soon as the uh, the fingers placed in the dial and brought to the stop it shorts out the uh, the um, hearing on the uh, receiver and makes a clean circuit to send out nice clean uh, disconnect pulses from your other spring set which is that one there. Anyhow let's have a look at the rest of it. Um, to my mind it is not particularly exciting and excuse the phone in the kitchen ringing. 
I've got various phones, uh, phones, not a phone, um, it's a clock. Change the oh gun. I don't know whether we're going to get through on this one, but it says change the battery pack. We'll keep going, it might cut off halfway. If it does, I've got to do it again. But it suddenly came up, change the battery pack. So we'll see what happens. Um, as I say, that is the... Get it on, focus more. Yeah, that's the, um, the coil to operate the bell. Just a single coil. You can see it actually all operating. You look at the sides, each side of the coil, you can see there's movement, energizes and does the necessary. Um, we got there. The springs that operate when the receiver goes down is those ones there. In fact, on the last one I put up, I got it round the wrong way. I said that the bell is disconnected with the handset off. It's the other way round. The handset is on, the bell is in circuit via or in series with the capacitor. I got it round the wrong way. I do apologise. Someone will pick it up. Anyhow, not going to be too long because I think the uh, the battery is almost on, on its way out. Here you've got the anti side tone induction coil, which does look more like a normal transformer. Um, various components at the back. These are probably some kind of line balancing. A capacitor, there's two there, one would be for the, uh, the bell circuit. Various resistors that are used in conjunction. And your terminals, which connect to the handset and the actual lead to the BT block, ter block terminal. Anyway, that is about it anyhow. As I say, if I keep talking too long, the battery is going to run out and I'm going to lose this so once again any questions please ask I think I've covered it all Indian Telephone Industries I don't know what the model is but turning it over it would have been on there but someone's removed the paper I've got two dates 80, 86, 87 whether, whether that is the um, yeah, I'd imagine it is. It's a plastic base. It's quite a basic phone. And on the side there, you have your connections to the dial. Anyhow, I'm going to end it here because I think the uh, battery's going to run out. So once again, many thanks. Any questions, please ask. Please subscribe. And I will try and get back to you with any questions. Thanks for watching. Thank you.